first production tilt rotor aircraft, the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, has overcome more than 30 years of trials and controversy to become a multi-mission aircraft with unparalleled capabilities. In April of 1980, 52 Americans were being held hostage inside the embassy in Tehran. When negotiations failed, President Jimmy Carter authorized a daring rescue attempt called Operation Eagle Claw. However, due to a lack of capable helicopters, the attempt was aborted and ultimately spiraled into an international debacle that claimed the lives of eight U.S. servicemen. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw illustrated our military's need for an aircraft that combined the operational flexibility of a helicopter with the speed, range, and cargo carrying capabilities of a fixed wing plane. To meet this need, the Department of Defense began the V-22 program in 1981. Based upon the X-15 tilt rotor prototype, which was developed by Bell Helicopter and first flown in 1977, a joint team from Bell Boeing was awarded the design contract in 1983. In 1989, the first Osprey prototypes began operational trials. However, multiple crashes prompted concerns over safety, while ballooning production costs almost forced the program's cancellation. But despite the controversy, designers and engineers made critical adjustments and continued to test and retest the aircraft. Finally, in 2000, the U.S. Marine Corps began crew training. And in 2007, the first Ospreys entered field service in Iraq. Today, the V-22 supports a variety of missions. They have deployed in both combat and rescue operations over Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, and have proven their ability to provide the operational flexibility needed for crisis response.